Hi and welcome, my name is John if again, I'm from All Total Coach. And what I want to talk to you today is about the market cycles. Today I'm going to share with you research that I've done over a few years. I'm sure you can look it up, but today we're going to talk about the cycles of the market. How they become that stage and what to do when you come into those stages. And when you should buy and when you should sell. But before we start, I'm the author of the book, How to Be a Man, which your father never taught you. This book will change your life. Unfortunately, we cannot have a book launch at the moment because of the situation we're in. But sooner or later, we will have one. And what is my book all about? It's about how to be a man in this feminized society. Man, what is a man? How to become a man? Women, relationships and sex. Media manipulation, indoctrination via the movies. Health, food and exercise and why it's so important. Money, wealth, what you need to know, what you're not taught at school. Value, what is value and why it's so important. How to overcome the biggest phenomena of our generation of depression and fear where more than eight people in Australia commit suicide a day, six of them are men. Exactly what I just said. And in my book, I give testimony and proof to every word I say. Because if you say things and you can't back it up, it's only talking. Happiness and fulfillment, feminism, the real truth, family court and consequences, how to build a, be, a great social network, keep up how to maintain relationships, some of the rules that will save your life, and summary, and sources and resources. Links below if anybody wants to buy the book. But today, we're going to talk about the market cycles. What is a cycle? Everything in life has got a cycle. We've got morning afternoon, evening, night, cycle of a day, a cycle of a week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then you've got a month, then you've got a year, then you've got cycles of economics, economic cycles are not the normal in normal time cycles, some of them can be short cycles for a couple of months, some of them can be 20, 30 years. But everything has got a cycle. And today, with you, my dear friends, I'm going to talk about the cycles of the market so you can identify where that particular stock, commodity, bond, ETF, or anything for that matter, so you know when to get in and when to get out. The lowest point of the market is when there is depression and despondency. This is where the market has given up and there is total nobody believes in it and there's sob stories all over mainstream media, etc, etc. Okay? At this particular moment, there is two to three things that I, I identified and I've spoken about this a few weeks back that it was in total this, the depression and despondency that was Bitcoin, gold and silver. We are now entering the second phase of awakening gold from 1450 to 1760 the latest as I'm doing this video and silver has gone from less than 12 to more than 17 an increase of 45% very rarely you're gonna hear this in the media a majority of people in this particular area are not invested and the people that are invested usually in this area are the people that do research that second stage is awakening and Bitcoin and gold and silver are entering phase two. Then you've got revived hope. A few more people talk to you and these people talk to other peoples and that commodity is already more than likely doubled. And then the fourth stage of rapid speculation that happened in the stock market all over 2018, 2019. And then you've got the last stage of rampant euphoria like what happened in the stock market late 2019 and what happened into Bitcoin in 2017 when it went within a few months from 10,000 to 19,000 whatever it was nearly doubled within a few months rampant euphoria euphoria now when we reach from rampant speculation to rampant euphoria usually you're gonna hear stories in the media and the media create this rampant, from rampant speculation to rampant euphoria. And the majority of people, they've got no idea, 
joining in this in the last days or couple of weeks or couple of months. And once you join in rapid euphoria because you saw it on TV, once you see it on TV, it's all over. If you've seen it on TV once, probably, but when it's repeated again and again and again, more than likely, we're in rampant euphoria. And that's what happened to Bitcoin and the stock market when the price earning ratios were out of whack. Yet, today, we're in a new cycle of gold and silver and Bitcoin, where nobody's talking about it. Very few people are talking about it. And I spoke about in an earlier video that I did before about the three types of investors. So find where you are so you won't become the investor that invests in the last days. So after we go for rampant speculation, yeah, that the stock market is gone, we go into a pullback. Like we are now in a pullback. And a lot of people think it's just a pullback. They don't know that this economic situation that we all find ourselves in, it's not a pullback. They think it's a pullback. But when, where once we take out the lows of March, it's going to be massive catastrophe. And more than likely this will happen. I don't know when, but more than likely. Then, majority of people go from just a pullback to denial. They, they, not, they can't believe what's going on. And they, they don't even have a stop loss. And they live in denial. They think it's going to come back the next day. And then, the next day is, is capitulation. Where the stock market that hit nearly 30,000, to 23 to back to 25 26 it's going to go probably more than likely to about 15 to 12 on the Dow Jones and then massive collapse because of the printing of the Fred of, uh, of money out of the oblivion and then we've got despondency and back to depression now why are we talking about these cycles so you can see exactly where we are in the stock market we are now in just supposedly a pullback very soon when we take the lows out of the lows of March and early April, we're going to have denial and then massive capitulation. But we're in a new bull market of gold and silver. You will not hear in mainstream media that gold has increased by about 20 something percent in the last six weeks. You will not hear in mainstream media that silver has increased about more than 45 percent from the lows in late March till today and you will not hear in mainstream media maybe a word here and there that Bitcoin from 3,850 went three times all the way to 10,000 as I'm doing this video it's roughly about 95 now I'm not here to tell you what to invest in this is not my business I just want you to know to my, uh, uh, my uh, business is to give you an idea where we are in the cycles so you can know where we are and you can make an informed decision. And the biggest mistake people do, they're looking for others to make decisions for them. And the reason they look for the guru is so if they make a mistake, they've got somebody to blame. But they don't realize nobody gives a shit about your money, only you. My personal view, and this is a view, we're just talking here, is gold and silver and a bit of crypto. How much you put, what you put, it's none of my business. And if you think this video is stupidity, it's okay. It's an opinion. It's my opinion. You do what you like. But one thing I will say to you is, when you see gold breaking up $3,000 an ounce and silver more than $50 an ounce, you remember this video because I've said it well ahead. And if you look at a previous video I did just a few weeks back, I spoke about silver being undervalued. Now, why am I talking about silver? Because on average, the, the ratio between gold and silver in the last 56 years is between 20 to 45. A couple of weeks ago, it was about 124. As I'm doing this video, we're sitting roughly at 102, meaning silver is still undervalued. And the gains that can be done on them are phenomenal. Now, personally, I don't think it's a good idea to buy the GLV ETFs on gold. I personally think if you don't own it, you don't, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. Buy the bullion. You may have to pay a premium today because of the scarcity of this. And if there's going to be war, I'm not saying there will be, but if there's going to be war or economic situation deteriorate, then more than likely it will. I don't have to tell you where we're going. More than likely there'll be a run on the dollar and all paper currencies. And there'll be a, 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 a re, re 
rewriting of all commodities and it's going to go ballistics. When exactly this will happen, time will tell. But today I wanted to tell you about the cycles of the market from depression to awakening to revive hope to rampant speculation and then you hear it all over the media to rampant euphoria all over the media and then a pullback supposedly then denial, massive capitulation and despondency and back to depression. Every cycle the length of it is different but every one of the cycles has all these characteristics. So here it is just so you can see and that's what I wanted to talk to you today about the Michael cycles I really, really hope you enjoyed this and you saw the previous video on the three types of investors so you can know where you are, so you can make more informed decisions and don't be a sheep like most people buy things because they saw it on TV or because one dumb dumb told them a tip when they were buying chocolate or whatever. Thank you very much for listening. A book for sale, How to Be a Man, What Your Father Never Taught You. Any questions whatsoever, john at sosdating.com. Thank you very much for listening. As always, you know I'm your friend, John.